Hey guys, I just wanted to do a little recap on the brace height trivia question. I said it backwards. After I did some research, I found out on a recurve, after the AM bow, the string length is four inches shorter. On a long bow, it is three inches shorter. So I took the string off. I made it exactly 54 inches because this is a 58 inch AMO. I put the string back on and it came out at exactly eight and a half inches. So I had uh, got a, I received a message from a gentleman on YouTube and he sent me a link. I got on there, found this bow, and the recommended brace height is anywhere from eight to eight and a half. So I wanted to give a shout out to the OHP dash Ozark High Point. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your feedback. It really helped me out. So I guess the thing I still don't really understand though is how they come up with a 58 AM, 58 inch AMO on the bow. Because the bow does measure longer than that, unless I'm measuring it wrong. But when the bow is unstrung, like I said, if I go from tip to tip, I'm getting 61 inches. And then I have an inch difference here, so that would still want to make it 59. I'm not really sure how they come up with the 58. But obviously it's right, because according to the information I found, which I will post that, show a little clip of it. It does say that it is eight to eight and a half. And once I shrunk that, it came up exactly eight and a half. So I'm gonna to try to use that theory on all bows if I can't find the actual recommended brace height. I'm just gonna go with that and know that that is probably gonna be the high end. And maybe you can fluctuate a little bit down unless you wanna go above the brace height. But I really don't like to go above them. I like to stay either at the max or a little bit below. So again, guys, I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, comment down below. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. God bless.